Okay, so let's walk you through the parts list for this build. Uh, so first of all, I bought the frame from Banggood, the GEP210. It's quite a cool frame actually, I think it looks good. It's got quite a nice FPV uh, tilt on the camera. The next, I stuck in the Seriously Pro Mini Flight Controller. I've got this in a couple of builds and I think this is a really smart flight controller. You have to hard mount the wires, you can't use any pins due to the space in the frame. It's got a built in 5 volt back, you can use the uh, that on the receiver, micro SD card which is really nice. Uh, it's also got programmable LEDs handy for this frame and of course one shot ESCs. So it's just a, a decent flight controller this. Um, the receiver I'm using is the FR Sky X SR. Decent thing about this, it's got both uh, S bus and CPPM. Of course I'm using the S bus. Um, it's also got smart port output as well. So it's brilliant, it's absolutely tiny, which is really handy for this frame. Yet yeah, you get full uh, FR Sky telemetry on it from the flight controller. So really great for a Tyrannus. So after that, I've got the ESCs, which is the XM 20A 20 amp ESCs. And these are just really good, uh, very good uh, motor stop on it, uh, yet you still get full revs uh, from the ESCs, so absolutely brilliant. So I like these. Of course that brings us on to the, the motors. Uh, I ordered those ESCs particularly for these motors, uh, DYS MR2205s. Great thing about these is that they're 2750 kV, so really high. They really scream. Another good thing about them is the price, just ten pounds eighty, really cheap in comparison to other motors. So got these in clockwise and counterclockwise. The FPV setup, the camera I got is this one, the Sky Plus L twenty eighteen. I opted for this one over a HS1177, I've used those in the past, but this one, well it says 7 to 12 volts power, it actually works with the power from the, the uh, video transmitter, uh, which is just really handy and it is a, a CCD camera. Uh, the case doesn't fit, I've taken the, the board out of the case, mounted the lens straight onto the board. Uh, but I'm really happy with this camera. The FPV transmitter that I'm using is the Quantum Elite 58. Uh, you've got a microphone on it, a clicky clicky button for going through the channels and clear LED markers on there. It's race band ready. Uh, the other really handy thing about it, if you live in the UK, is that it's legal. It's 25 milliwatts. If you break this tab, then it bumps it up to 200 milliwatts. But it's great to have it delivered legal uh, for UK use. So this is this really smart. This one. So, and I'm using it with the Aonway uh, four leaf clover antenna. Actually, I'm really impressed with these antennas. I find that they give better transmission than the fat sharks have been using, but they are a bit more delicate. I've managed to break one already in a hard crash in the road. But when you see the crash, which is at the end of the video, you'll understand why the antenna probably broke. It was only one of the lobes that broke off, but it's rendered it a little bit useless. Okay, so let's take you through stages of the build. So here we've got the motors, ESCs, the FPV cam, the uh, transmitter already on there, even the receiver actually buried in there as well. Um, the PDB comes with the frame. I must admit I'm not too impressed with this PDB because although the positive and negative are opposite sides of the board, uh, when you put the sides on, because the frame is built out of carbon fibre, it can easily bridge. 
Uh, so I'm not impressive with that. And in fact, I did blow up a nays board when I was uh, first building it. I had to think of a separate flight controller. These are the motors, sorry, the camera's not focusing, but they're the, uh, the 2205s, 2750 kV motors, so they really do scream. This is the flight controller that I'm putting in, and it has to be uh, directly wired to it, so no pins on this, there's just not enough space in the frame. Uh, so the next part of the build, uh, everything's basically wired up. I've even put a capacitor in there as well to try and level out voltage spikes, keep the FPV feed a little bit cleaner. Uh, you might be able to see a minimum SD there as well. That didn't make it to the end of the build. I'm afraid it was causing too many issues. Uh, so now it's all bolted down, it looks a lot tidier. Um, everything's directly wired, but it all fits in there. Uh, there's even a little bit of space to spare actually, uh, surprisingly enough, even uh, fitting a buzzer in there as well. Uh, so this is all put together then. Um, it's been flown a few times, crashed a few times as well, um, but as you can see it looks quite cool. I've got 4 inch props on there. I'd like to try it out with 5 inch props. Um, but because I don't have a 3D printer, I can't run a point of view camera on the front. Um, I've had to resort to using a door wedge to mount my FPV camera, which gives me very limited uh, degree. It's maybe like a 10, 15 degree on there, which isn't really what I'm used to, to be honest. Um, you can see that I've put some tape on the edge uh, where the PDB is to stop it arcing across the frame because the frame's made out of carbon fibre. Uh, if you look at this motor here, you can see that I've done a bit of damage to it, sorry, the, the arm. That was ramming it into the road at uh, sort of maybe 30 40 miles an hour. Unbelievably, the thing flew immediately afterwards with no repair. Um, but I've put a little bit of epoxy glue on there just to strengthen it up, stop it um, breaking anymore. Uh, but I think it looks really cool. It gives a very, very smooth video. Uh, no jello at all. I think in part that is due to the props, uh, that they're so small. But it really does scream. You can see it's got some, uh, certainly got some thrust to it. How would I improve it? Maybe a a thicker bottom plate, uh, give it a bit more strength that can very easily be chipped um, and possibly put some bumpers on there as well uh, across the front or on the motor arms would be good. So all in all I quite like this frame, I'd, I'd probably say it's my best frame at the moment, not most crash proof uh, but when you see what it survived um, it did really well.
Oh, <laughs> my